Once you grasp this truth that I'm about to tell you, it'll set you free from religion, it'll set you free from parents and mobs and family and governments and police, everybody, it'll set you free. And it's simply this, you are divine. God has exploded in a crab nebulae explosion and he has come and manifested himself as billions of people. And you're one of you, and so am I. When I look at you, I see God. When you look at me, you see God. That's why God's name is I am. I am God. It doesn't mean that me, God, it means I am. When you say I am God, you have to say what is God's name? I am. What? I am God. Oh my God, then all the people's Christians run around. Oh, I told you they think they're God. I don't think any of the other side. No, Jesus Christ said. The scripture says you are God, and the scripture cannot be broken. So he said it. Yeah, yeah, like the last third album. Peace, 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 family. How you all doing? I hope all is well with you. My name is Keisha. I'm the owner of Ascendant Astrology, and I am your astrology coach. Today, we're going to be doing a tarot reading for the Gemini full moon for my Libras. So, family, I did post the horoscopes on my IG if you want to go look at your sun, moon, and rising horoscopes, you can follow me on IG. And any other videos you want to watch, check them out. As well as if you want a reading, you can send me an email. All my information is in the description box below. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. If you like it, if you love it, if you don't. Let me know as usual. Family, I love and appreciate you. In advance, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Libras? For the Gemini full moon, I did meditate over the horoscope, shuffled, and all that good stuff. But let me read you your horoscope. So it says you're on the grind, taking care of daily schedule, home, children, and your health. You're making time for education and possibly travel. You're making time for a partner, love, and romance. Your main focus is time management. And it's going to be annoying, but the strategic plan will help you with any frustration. So let's see what else spirit has to add to that. What messages do you have for Libras for the Gemini full moon? You got the world, four of cups, four of swords, two of cups, with the knight of pentacles on the bottom. Sheesh, not a knight. God. No, let me stop. So the world is something coming to fruition. So you're whatever you manifested or been trying to manifest, it's here. There's a completion here, an accomplishment. Whatever it was, it wasn't easy. With Saturn here, this is the card of Saturn. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or Aquarius. This can be unity, feeling whole, a new phase, and achieving karmic lessons. Ooh. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. And then you have the Four of Cups, which is um, challenges, stillness, or viewing your challenges, stillness, ignoring the divine, deep thought, Lack of focus, lack of drive. Yeah, I can relate to this already. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm ignoring the divine, but um, that lack of focus with the Neptune squares as a Gemini sun as well as a Libra rising. Like, let me tell you something. Okay. I just want to sit and be in my head and I don't want to be bothered. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you're just over something here. Um, and you could be in your head about this. Uh, you might not be seeing things clearly or just in deep thought or unable to focus or you really don't have the drive that you might normally have at this time. Like you've been 
through a long battle. You know, you've gone through a lot. Yeah, four of swords. Oh, you could be dealing with a Libra. This is deep rest, healing after a heartache, recuperation, calm, reevaluating. This could have been a separation. That could have been the karmic lesson. Uh, paying attention to the signs, to your health, to your mental health, exhaustion, and needing help. And so you could um, be going inward now to get the answers from the divine after learning this lesson, after ignoring something, or just not, again, not really having the energy for something. And you're getting in this healing place. You're trying to heal. Um, and then you have the two of cups. Yeah. This could be a relationship that exhausted you and something you, you, you're just over it. And that's what the karmic lesson that's coming through, the completion here, that's going to lead to some exchange, a mutual exchange of emotions on the same page. Trust, physical exchange. You could be dealing with a cancer. Um, yeah, this is probably most likely about a relationship. And it could be with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, this could be a Virgo. Um, somebody who's hardworking, methodical, loves nature, but not emotional. They might not show their emotions that well. Um, very stubborn. Um, yeah. So you might have been tired of telling this person um, what you needed from them and they didn't give it to you. And that's what got you in this place. I mean, you could be hardworking too, trying to take your mind off of this. But it just led to more exhaustion. But the world is here. So you're having some kind of completion here. You've, you've passed the test. Saturn can be tests. So we'll see. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Libra? For the Gemini full moon. What other messages do you have for Libra? For the Gemini full moon. Oh, six of cups. Knight of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. The tower. Jeez. Nine of Cups, something's going to be revealed. I bet you it's going to be um, Mercury Retrograde. Hmm. All right, so the Six of Cups, um, you make this person happy. This person might make you happy, even though, you know, <laughs> there's a separation here and something happened. Um, nonetheless, there is some kind of bond here with the Two of Cups. Um, uh, this could be happy memories. Somebody can be thinking about the good times. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, and they might be coming with a gift. Or uh, if you guys do get back together, this could be, uh, they might think you're a, a good mother and want to have a kid with you. Hmm. Oh, shit. This might be a baby. You guys might be meant to come to, to come into union to have a baby. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Uh, again, this could be a Virgo. I just read this. This was on the bottom of the deck. He was determined to come back out. <laughs> Somebody who's hardworking. Methodical. They're thinking about a master plan to come back to you. I can tell you that right now. I can tell you that right now. But they need to work on their emotional expressions and stubbornness and making time for you. They might have been working and, you know, not 
giving you the attention or the emotional or fulfilling your emotional needs. Um, and then you have the seven of pentacles. This is rest after a productive period. Um, evaluating, reflecting what you've created. Mm, and you're not giving up. Yeah, this person's not going to give up. So I, it feels like both of you guys are in um, deep thought here and reflection, doing the inner work, healing. This person thinks about you and they want to bring you something. They could feel like they don't have a, m enough money and that's why they're not showing their emotions. They might be working on making sure they can provide before they make a move. Uh, but they're not expressing that. So it looks like something else. And you might have just been like, yeah, you can take that over there somewhere. Yeah, it caused a tower. I always look at this card as like falling from grace. You know, when somebody's kind of on their high horse and feels like they can't be touched. And then spirit comes in and says, oh, yeah. Or when something needs to change and somebody's like ignoring that and not doing the work, spirit comes through and says, oh, yeah, really? Is that what you thought? I got something else for your ass, nigga. <laughs> you know, so a sudden change, awakening. Mars, this is Mars energy. We did have a bunch of different Mars things. So you guys could have broke up around the last few weeks. Maybe, yeah, last few weeks with the Mars um, squares that we had. I think it was the, the sun and Pluto. I didn't even talk about the Mars square, the sun. Um, but, oof. yeah, it caused a tower moment. Um, life-changing events, a realization, something was built on a lie. Yeah, this is like Libra's reading. Um, what happened is like, um, you guys might have just started off dating, talking, but not talking about the important stuff. Like, where is this going? Uh, what are we doing? It was just hooking up type of energy. And that's not built on something sturdy, but it looks like, you know, it's something that you both want. Um, there's definitely some kind of spiritual connection here with Saturn, Mars. It could have been just sex. Mm. Yeah, this could you could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries. This could have been a tragedy or some kind of trauma that this person has or that you have that needs to be healed first before you guys can move forward. And so it looks like you guys are working on that. You're doing the internal work. And then you got the nine of cups on the bottom of the car, which is a reveal to me, basically. Um, but this could also be wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, could be some drinking, um, overindulgence, greed. Um, as somebody who's kind of materialistic or proud or bragging. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody was on their high horse here and, and the tower came and knocked it down. But now that the tower has broken up the old foundation, they're going to come back with wish fulfillment and emotional fulfillment. I still think you guys are going to have a good time and do those things, but you're also going to focus on the things that are going to build a stronger relationship a stronger bond getting on the same page working towards something as opposed to just shooting the shit that's what that looks like to me it's 
Spirit, what other messages do you have for Libra, for the Gemini full moon? Oh, King of Swords. <laughs> Page of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, this is moving to a, a relationship, possibly marriage. Oh, shit. The Nine of Cups is still on the bottom of the deck. It's like, yo, this is a reveal. So the King of Swords um, is somebody who's very serious. This could be you. Um, compassionate, disciplined, strict. Somebody who follows the law or could be going through legal issues. Judge, a lawyer, ambitious. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but somebody who in, has integrity. Yeah, I said that your person might be having money issues. Or you, it could be you going through some kind of legal stuff and um, it's messing with your money. Or it's this person. And they might need your help. Because they see you as somebody who's very ambitious. Somebody they can rely on. Somebody who has integrity. Disciplined. Compassionate. Mm. So they might need you to vouch for them for something. Mm. And then you have the Page of Swords. Oh. Somebody who's alert, energetic, um, intelligent, great communication. They could be spying on you. They could be gossip around this. Or they're talking about you to other people. Eager to learn. Curious. This person could be cold and insensitive, lacks empathy, blunt, honest, direct, could be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, I'm getting that this person needs to work on this stuff. Oh, this is you. You need to work on this. Learn each other. I still feel like this is talking about somebody who's um, um, not good at talking about, or the relationship started off as just super friendly. Somebody got comfortable, they got confident, they got in their ego, and the ego just kind of took over the relationship. And you might have kind of cut that off. And so this could be an apology. I'm getting apology energy heavy. Six of pentacles. Yeah, they was giving their attention elsewhere. But they're going to come back open to talk and um, stop living above their means or putting it towards something more meaningful. Ten of Pentacles, this is personal security, um, happy family, leaving a legacy and being able to retire. Yeah, I, I'm really getting that there was no focus on um, building a strong connection. It was just connecting, a hookup. This person might have even doubted that you would that you would take them seriously. But once you they seen that you did, I feel like it might have boosted this person's ego a little bit, you know? Mm. But they're going to reveal, I think this is coming during Mercury, the Mercury retrograde. I can guarantee you they'll be back, but there needed to be a break. You know, the separation is needed so that you can heal and reflect and really figure out what it is you want from each other. 
so that when you come back, you can have the right conversations and then start taking steps to building whatever it is you two decide. Spirit, what advice do you have for Libras for the Gemini full moon? I am vigorous and assertive. I am facing each challenge with tenacity and courage. This is going to be needed. Um, I am radiant beauty and thriving health. Yes. I am seen, heard, and felt. That's what you want. And I, I do think they're going to give it, give it their all. I do think that both of you guys are working on whatever it is you need to work on in order to get there. I don't think this is going to be easy. Not, no, no relationship is. But when you have communication and you have a plan, you're more likely to succeed. So just keep that in mind. Once you do plan something, hold them accountable and vice versa. You know, make sure you're staying on track. Make time for downtime. Don't just take down time. You know what I mean? There is a difference when you're trying to manifest. So um, as usual, family, I love and appreciate you. I hope you found this information helpful. Peace.